I wonder if Loverboy's seen June's temper before. You really bring out the best in people, don't you? Look, do you want to get the office to check with Bristol? That prat is out of order. He's all right. What, doesn't it bother you? He does the job. He was blaming you for messing up his case. <laughs> yeah, well, that's part of the course. Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be. He's a good thief taker. Doesn't make him any less of a prat. Right. What's this going to be then? Chicken paprika. Mm. I'll make it up to you. You better. <laughs> he was right about him sniffing around. Ignore him. It's easier said than done. Yeah, I know. You're going to stay. Do you want me to? Yeah, of course. Then I'm staying. Good. Just stay out of his way. Sure. I'm not having that prep get one over on me. Right. Gina Gifford. She left the area about two years ago? Yeah, I'll hold. Hey, apparently Duncan says Don and June have already had a set to. Sounds like he's pushing his luck. Yeah? Sounds more like the Doms we know. Well, having Don Beach in my flat do me head in. He'd be in your knicker drawer as soon as your back's turned. And he's already shown a bit too much interest in my underwear already. <laughs> you reckon her bloke will go? A fiver says he won't last the course with Don about. You're on. Hi, yeah. She was what? Right. That's very interesting. I'll pass that on. Cheers. Ah, uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah? Kerry just checked your mate out. Mm -hmm. While she was living in Bristol a few years back, she was suspected of running a brothel. But there wasn't enough evidence to convict her. Right. But she was almost certainly operating as a tom. Could put a different spin on things, Sarge, couldn't it? Yeah. Just don't know who you got living across the road, do you, June? Not everyone's a criminal. It's a useful piece of information, certainly. Yeah, it is. I mean in terms of how we handle Gina. Because now we're really not sure who side she's on. She could be on the phone to Marne this very second. You're going to have to get back over there, June. Yeah, right. Uh, June, can I have a word? Sure. Yeah, yeah. You're not supposed to be doing this. Let him do it. No. He's using you. Look, I want to help Gina. I have to. OK. Look, um, one nice shoot off for an hour or two. You don't need to do that. I can't keep my mouth shut with him around. You don't want to waste energy on Don's wisecracks. No, you're right. I feel like I'm letting you down. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course you're not. I'll pop back later. Yeah, that'd be nice. Nice? Look, I want you to stay. It's just that... I'm in the way. No. I can't afford to screw up this obo. I'll never live it down if I do. And I want to see Don nail this guy. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go. I'll see you later. Yeah, right. Off are you, Steve? That's right. What, back to the bicycle shop? <laughs> oh, dear. You satisfied now, Sarge? What? Well, you proved your point. And you were determined to wind them up as well. <laughs> Not me. Oh, come on. You've been needling them since we got here. It wasn't good for the op having him around. Could have been a distraction for Sergeant Ackland. June's helping us for nothing, Sarge. Oh, come on, Duncan. You're losing your sense of humour. I just wanted to check that you were okay now. Yeah, right. You want me to hang around for a bit? What time is it? Just after four. God, I wish this was over. Yeah, well, it soon will be. Told your chums across the road about the spliffs, did you, June? I said I'd talk to you about them, that's all. Bet it wasn't. What do you mean? You've been checking up on me. What? Go on, June. Tell me you haven't been rooting around. Tell me I'm just being paranoid. All right, we ran a check with Bristol. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. But the more 
we know, the easier it is to help. So what they tell you? That you may have worked as a prostitute and you were suspected of running a brothel. But your lads had a laugh at that, man. You won't charge with anything, there's no problem. Well, there is to me, though. You knowing it spoils everything. How do you mean? <sighs> well, I wanted to start again. That's why I came here. It's a laugh now, isn't it? Nobody need know. Not in a hole of sunny old Nick. Do you want a drink? Oh, no, you don't, do you? You're on duty. Sergeant Daly's right. What? You shouldn't have asked Jun to use her flat. Come on, Duncan. I didn't twist her arm, did I? She was always going to let us have the flat. June's a bloody good copper. She's special. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sure the feeling's mutual. And you shouldn't have wound her up in front of her boyfriend. He's got to know what he's letting himself in for. You reckon? Look, I'm sure they'll make a very good couple. But June is married to the job. He can't be a good copper and have a relationship. Rubbish. I'm doing OK. How do you know what your wife's up to when you're doing your overtime? I know. Really? Gina, look, we were only worried that you could be vulnerable in some way. Like I said, the more we know, the easier it is for us to help. I wish I'd never started this. You didn't start anything. Should have put the new carpet down and kept my mouth shut. Come on, you couldn't have done that, not after finding a gun. Yeah, I could have had any sense. You're not feeling sorry for Patrick, are you? Not after what he's done. I hate him now. He was more than just a paying guest, wasn't he? Yeah. I didn't know what he'd done. I, he seemed really nice. A bit lonely. I fancied him. Oh, fair enough. That's why I could not believe it was him that's, that left the gun. I didn't want to believe it. Oh, it'll be all right. No, it won't. Yeah, I'll be here. I wish I hadn't blown the whistle. I wish I'd waited. No, you don't. Jim from Don. Yeah, go ahead, Don. Go to the window. OK. Is it him? Oh, my God, he's early. It's him. Keep him going till he checks under the floorboards. I keep calm. How? How'd it go? Fine, yeah. You're early. I wanted to get back. This is June, neighbour. Nice to meet you. I'll do. Oh, do you want to join us? Not too early for me, thanks. Yeah, well, I don't usually. I've just had a bit of a bad day. Oh, yeah, why's that? Oh, you know, men. Not too bad. Yeah, Gina reckons I ought to get rid of him. Right. Yeah, you should, definitely. I mean, we haven't been together that long. It's just, you know, the thought of starting over. Right. So you've been working away, have you? Up north, at a conference. What was it about? Well, the usual. Targets, objectives, performance, crap like that. Where are you staying? Just outside Wilmslow, this hotel. Nice. It was OK. Look, I'm sorry, I... You must be tired after your long drive, and don't let me stop you if you want to freshen up or something. Good idea. Fancy a coffee? Why not? Poor Gina, I've been bending your ear. Doesn't look like he's brought anyone with him. Why don't we go over there, Sarge? No, let him check out the floorboards first. Well, what if he's come tooled up? <laughs> I don't think that's likely. We don't know that. Calm down, General Cole. I used to have an aunt live near Wilmslow. It's nice around there. Yeah, it is. Milk, two sugars. You OK, are you? Why well, shouldn't I be? No reason. Start your meal up, shall I? Listen, uh, don't bother with the meal. I had something on the way. 
Anyway, I'm not stopping. What? Well, I just came by to pick me things up. I've got more business up north. I've stopped being useful to you, have I? There's things you don't understand. How could you do it? Gina, can we talk? I found it! Found what? Patrick, I trusted you. Don from June. Hey, what's Go going ahead. on? Assistance required. No. Hey, Why? what the hell's going on, Gina? I'm arresting you on suspicion Are of robbery. You, you can't have to say anything, but it may be Hey, you, you, you question you, something which you let me go. Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of I'm doing a speech. It's good to meet you. What are you on about? You'll have to postpone your trip over road park. That's right. You're going to be banged up with your mate Ryan Andrew. Oh, who it? Ah, Gina! Gina, Tom! I've done nothing I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's all right, Gina. It's all over now. Hmm? Well done, girls. I'm going to stay here for a bit. Yeah. It's a pity you couldn't have waited a little bit longer till he went up to his room, though. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Don. Hey, no problem. It just would have been the icing on the cake. But uh, good job, though. Thanks. <laughs> well, he didn't put up much of a struggle, did he? Jeff? You're looking pleased with yourself? Yes, ma'am. What do you reckon Sergeant Ackland's new bloke then, Sarge? Um, Mr Bryant? I'm afraid he bunked off rather early on in proceedings. Really? Yeah. Couldn't take the pressure. So why does that give you so much satisfaction, eh? Doesn't, Geoffrey? Just looking out for June, that's all. I'll go and find an interview room, OK, Sarge? You know, if Stevie can't stand the heat, it's not my problem, is it? You're all heart, aren't you, Don? Yeah, I wouldn't say that. Hey, yeah, most of it's coming off. It doesn't matter. The carpet's past it. No, it didn't look too bad. June, leave it. I'm going to get a new one for here anyway. That's going to cost you a bit, isn't it? No, I shouldn't do, no. Mate of mine gets some cheap. Oh, yeah? He's nothing told you. <laughs> right, Patrick, I'd like you to cast your mind back to what you were doing six months ago. This has to be a wind-up. I don't know what you're talking about. That's why I'm trying to help you refresh your memory. What's Gina been saying? Not a lot, really. I think she's still in a state of shock. I don't understand. You used her house to stash the money and the shotgun. Now, I don't think that went down too well, to be honest. I swear I don't know anything about any money or gun. It was the money that you stole on your little spree to the electrical warehouse after you hit the security guard over the head with a gun. It was definitely the money from the robbery. We found it in your room under the floorboards, so you might as well start talking. This is down to Gina, <laughs> it must be. Sit down. She's planted the Mr. stuff. Mr Man, could you please sit down? Now, why would she do that? Oh, she must really hate me. Tell me a bit more about this trip up north. What were you doing? I'm a sales rep. I had a conference. <sighs> Come on, Patrick. You were planning your next raid, right? There was no conference. <sighs> All right. So I lied about the conference. But I haven't done anything, I swear. Why lie if you've got nothing to hide? Because I'm married, aren't I? I was with the wife. I didn't want Gina knowing. <sighs> I couldn't help myself, could I? And she was keen. She's a nice woman, good cook, everything. You gotta believe me. You may have a wife, doesn't mean you didn't do the robbery. My boss only gave me this area two months ago. I sell fitted kitchens. Ring the wife, ask her. Go on. You better give us her number then. I'll have to go to court. I'm afraid so. Oh, I'm so I'm facing him again. <sighs> look, you go home. You look about as knackered as I feel. Yeah, if you're sure that's all right. Oh, that's all right. No, it's OK. I better start pulling myself together. Eddie! Just on my way or far drop by. Come in. June, this is Eddie. Sorry. All right. Married to a mate of mine, otherwise I might give him house room. <laughs> Only when she wants something, though. Oh, right. Eddie's been doing the haul for me. Oh, you've done a good job. Is it right, Mr Fix-It? June might want your number. The wife would be suspicious. <laughs> Any chance of a cuppa? Mm. I'll give you my white number before I go. Well? 
He's been home the last two days, and his wife says he's been selling kitchens for five years. She gave me the number of his boss, and everything checks out. I don't believe this. Don't put him in the clear yet. You could have another chat with him. No. It's Gina Gifford I want to talk to, the lying cow. We we'll better tell June that it's going to be someone else. I'll be off. Right, let's get started then. What? I got that bit of carpet you were after. It's outside. Oh, Eddie. Just don't ask me for a receipt. I'll nip upstairs and lift the old one for you. I've already done it. What are you talking about? It's a long story, Eddie. I'll tell you later. Something. Leave it! I said, leave it! There's no one at Gina's either. June should still have a radio with her. I know I've tried, but there's no response. Try June's number again. Hi, this is June. Leave a message and I'll call you back. There's no one there. No. Steve? Hi, it's Duncan Lennox here. Is, is June there? No, I just walked in. Where are you guys? We're at the station. Uh, what's his name? Come on. The guy is waiting for. No, not yet. We're just trying to locate Gina. What? I just saw Gina answer the door to some bloke. He got out of a van. It's still there. A blue van with a roll of carpet on the roof. What? Why are you here? Stay put, Steve. Steve? What's happening? Sergeant Arkham could be in trouble. You want some help? It's down to you. Come on, Claire. Where's my money? Where'd he go? The police took it! I'm sorry, let go! I need you, Gina. I won't tell anyone, Eddie, I swear. Please, Eddie, I... Shut it! Joe, can you in here? Open the door! Tell him to back off. But he's not a copper. Get rid of him. Steve! It's OK. Go back to the flat. Brian! If anything happens to her... What's going on? There's a bloke in there who's got June. Right, stand back. June, don't do anything stupid. I said stand back. Get off me! Shut up and stand back. You're Tell your mates to back off. June, don't do anything stupid. I said stand back. Get off me! This is police business. You left us! Look, if he doesn't shut up, nick him! We've got a visitor. Eddie Hammond. Hammond? She's gonna get it! You stand clear! Right. We'll go around the back. Right. Yeah, OK, we heard you. What's the deal? I'm coming out with Gina, we're getting in my car, and we're heading off. If anyone comes near, she's dead. Oh. Don't do anything stupid, Eddie. We only want to talk to you. Just open the door. Back off! We're coming out! Make it easy. I just want to talk. Oh. Ah. Oh. Get out of here, Steve! Stay out of Oscar from DC. Yeah. He's mine. I'm arresting you on suspicion of robbery. You're right, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I fine. Really you do not mention one question. I'm okay, outside. June. Steve. All right. That's right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, you're looking. You're all right. Yeah, right, Duncan, yeah, yeah. take him to the car. And cancel that ARV. Move it. Mm. Oi. This is down to you. Sorry? She was nearly killed. But she wasn't, was she? Steve. You screwed up. You don't know what you're talking about. You reckon? You were well out of order. But where were you then? Steve. Steve? June's calling you. I didn't need that. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't help myself. Yeah, well, he's my problem. He's not yours. I oh, know, but you could have been killed. We all could. 
You know, I was doing my job, he was doing his. You weren't even supposed to be here. I was here for Gina. Oh, I know you were doing that for me, but... I... You see, you don't do me any favours by having a go at a colleague. You've got to learn to stay out of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, um... Gina, are you ready? Yeah. Great. So what's happening now? I'm gonna go down the station with Gina. You need a doctor? Yes, I'll get the FME to look me over. I'm sure I'll be fine. So how long will that take? At least a couple of hours. Well, I'll wait for you over at the flat then. Look, I'm... I'm not sure I'm going to be much company when I get back. You mean you'd rather I'd wait? I'm just very tired. You really mean a lot to me, you know that, Jim? Call you when I get back. Please do. Davis. I came across her when I went undercover in Newington Prison. It's one-on-one -on -one or nothing. OK. It's nothing, babes. With five years inside, I reckon the lovely Rita swings the other way. Do you think that's going to get you back in Daly's good books? Going behind my back like some street-corner grass? These girls, they're all from broken homes. I was like a mother to them. You've got nothing on me, Sherlock. No. But I'll find you, Barry and I'll break your legs.